I'm glad you had your piece to say, Oni. Uh, anyways, guys, welcome back to another killer video for today. And we're playing a little bit of Oni today. And oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun video for you guys. I hope it's gonna be a pretty strong build we're running on him. So let's get straight into it. First up, we have barbecue and chili to allow me to see auras from pretty far away when I hook people, so I can go pressure him with my demon dash ability. Monitor and abuse will pair really well with infectious fright due to monitor and abuse increasing my terror radius when I'm in a chase and infectious fright allowing me to know where people are in my terror radius when I down somebody and corrupt intervention is there to just help me out in the early game early game is where every killer is at the weakest and Oni in particular is one of those killers that in per that really has to get out of that early game as quickly as possible to try and start their snowball so for our add-ons, we have the Chipped Psy High for the slightly increased duration of my Blood Fury and the Bloody Sash for the moderately increased movement speed while I'm taking up some Blood Orbs. Anyways guys, let's get straight into these games. <coughs> well, it tells me, uh, gives me a little information. I hear the footsteps right next to me over here. If they're smart, they'll keep running instead of hiding. Ah! Or you can try and hide. There's two people up here. He wasn't leaving the scratch marks headed to my left over here. I don't know who was, but... I almost got him with that. That was actually a pretty cool little movement I did there. He's gonna vault it. He's panicked because I, uh, I went the other way. I mean, you're gonna go down here, one way or another. Honestly, it's for it's even better for me if he vaults a bunch. The reason being is I can get a ton of blood off of it. So when people vault, I'm actually gonna go look up here. I think I have four people around me, and none of them are on generators right now. So when people vault uh, against Sony, they draw more blood if they're injured. Get off my generator. Oh, I didn't realize I had basement right there. Sorry, I don't need basement. Let's see. Where are you? I'll go ahead and kick this. I don't think anybody's going to this generator anytime soon. Then I'll go for this wall right here. Who is hiding? Wait, was that not her? Okay, wait. There she is. Thank you. Now I'll go for whoever I heard from Infectious. Who's the easiest target over here? That's not the rooting you should have taken. She should not have played this like that at all. Let's go for this guy, see what he's doing. Okay. And that was a pretty good uh, blood for you right there. Are you still here? Why are you still here? She literally said that entire time hiding. She could have gone to help her teammates. She could have gone to do a generator. She could have given me basically this. Uh, Cheryl's gonna pick herself up to me right here, I think. Are you? No, she's not. Uh, well, I was gonna give her a chance to. I, I don't know what the hell that girl was thinking, I'll be honest. She literally spent the entire time hiding. Is that the David? Jesus Christ, he crawled far. Uh, should I give someone hatch? I don't know. I'm gonna come pick this, this David up though before he actually hides. Where are you? Here you are. No unbreakables either, which is awesome. This is... Exactly the situation where Unbreakable would have been insane for them would help them uh, completely turn this game around. And let's see where the Fang is as well. If these guys kill themselves quickly, I'll let the Fang get out. Whoopsie. Anybody to drop down there? Uh, pff, yeah, I don't know. Three times. That girl literally spent the entire time hiding right here. She, uh, she procked inf uh, Infectious Fright, sorry, called her out right there three different times. That is absurd to me that you 
would hide that fucking hard. <laughs> well, this was a pretty quick game. I'm gonna go ahead and capture when the game ends. Alright, so... You're gonna notice something here. <laughs> I killed all four of them. The I was gonna let the Fang out, but she would not stop wiggling, and you guys know how I am with that. That's I'm not gonna fucking sit around chasing somebody to, till they find the hatch. I would rather just put her uh, on the hook and kill her. Man, these guys got really low points. That was a quick game. We might have time for a third one, so let's get straight into the next one. Mm, guys, having fun. I oh, know, Oni. Sometimes. Assuming I can get a hit. <laughs> this really, I mean, most of Oni's games generally just come down to can you get an early hit? If you can, a lot of the times you'll have a decent time. Someone spawned in the gas station. I don't get a generator on though. I see someone back there though. Uh. uh well, I don't feel bad about hitting her anymore. <laughs> I see that Dwight over there as well. Hello, Mr. Dwight, Mr. Bill. Bill's sprint burst, that's why he's waiting. Force me to use the sprint burst there, and then I'll keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and go for this Dwight instead. I want to get my blood off him. He was very confused about where I was there, which actually ended up paying off for me really well. Did Bill get back on the gen? Sounds like he did. Yeah, he did. I don't know, it's another Dwight. Uh, it's, it is Bill as well. And that's a risky position for him to be in uh, against Sony. Because of this. Ah, uh, right there. That's fine. That's the first thing we tech pilot down early on in the game. That's something I'm very happy to do. If he's gonna throw every pallet, I will happily chase this guy. Oni has uh, one of the faster pallet break animations. So you really can get a lot of value out of chasing people who throw a lot of pallets. He has a faster pallet break animation in his power, I mean. Ah! I don't hear any infectious fright screams aside from the bill, so I'll get to pick this guy up right now. Try and hook him as quickly as possible, so I can try and deny this bill is unbreakable. It should fix him up by down him. Sprint burst. He's gonna unbreakable in a second here. I have to hook this guy. And I really want to pick this guy up. Uh, I usually would get blood there. But it's a bill, and I don't want to risk unbreakable, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up. I could drop this guy and go for her instead, but I won't. I'm gonna actually turn around there and come back to this hook. If she has hard time, then I don't get this hook. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, I do get it. Very nice. And now I have a ton of blood around here, which is amazing. I should have paid attention to barbecue there. Unfortunately, I didn't though. Where's the mag? I still hear her. Someone's indoors here. This is a healthy guy. I'm not really getting too much out of this chase, honestly. I probably shouldn't chase him at all. <laughs> hey, pal down though. And he's gonna run right into me, isn't he? No, he knows how to play this pal. I'll kick this now. Farm some blood. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go for it down on him. <laughs> he didn't play it correctly, which is awesome for me. I denied this generator a lot of progress. Keeping the pressure up as well. I know the Meg and the Bill right now are probably gonna go heal if I had to guess. Yep. There's a heal on one of them. Heal on the second will be coming soon enough. And it might be a triple heal even. I guess double heal, sorry. <laughs> but it might be all three of them healing is what I'm trying to say here. Let's see if Tempicule will let me know where they are. No, it was only two of them. That's fine though. These joints are probably started with friends. So I'm gonna come back here and check to see. Okay, no, 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 uh extra progress on the generator, and I'll head over towards the two I saw back here who are probably in this gen. I saw the bill hiding already. Remember, he has sprint burst, so... Oh, I didn't even see the bill. Thank you to Dwight for giving me infectious spray, and I could go for the guy on my right, but I'd rather go to the basement here to keep up the pressure. They're hiding right here. Or not? Hello? Where'd you go? 
Hello. This is Rivers on the bill, remember? Damn, you're really gonna play it like that, huh? Damn it, I fucked up. Ah, I wanted to do something kind of cool there, but unfortunately I couldn't. I messed that up. That's alright, I'll head back towards the point that I down this bill. Ran for distance, I'm pretty sure. Where are these guys? I see them right there. Bill's gonna get to pick up, that's fine. Both these guys are injured. Good killer check while it's down. I can 100% get it down right here. Since Meg isn't careful, she's gonna end up uh, going down here into killer check. And I can go for a mind game, or she's just gonna loop around the long way. Looping around that long way is nice when you have, um. When the killer tech pallet is up, but if it's down, there's literally no reason to, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, kick the generator here, keep it regressing as much as possible. I, by the way, I was expecting the dead heart there from the mech, considering how much she literally just hard stares at me when she's getting chased, so. This lets you know, uh, preemptively. I think I see the healing right there. Maybe not. No, I didn't. Someone's still in the basement self-caring, yeah. Self-care is a bad perk, guys. There's a guy injured to the right over there, unless I saw wrong. They're gonna be going over to the generator here. Both these guys are healthy, so I'm not gonna get it down here, but I can still get a lot of blood off it. Thank you. He wasted all that time that he was healing. Bill's gonna be hiding here somewhere. Let's for first someone ready. <coughs> I'm gonna check this locker just in case. Okay. They're gonna go finish that generator in the kill check now. There's gonna be two of them on it right now. I don't know where the bill went off to hide. One last check. Okay. I was just curious. I don't know where he's hiding, but he's doing a damn good job of it. Hello, get off my generator, please. Hello, Bill. Let's rip this away. I thought he got greedy. I almost hit that. <laughs> I shouldn't have even swung. I knew he had uh, sprint burst ready. That guy uh, is just now finishing self-caring. He probably self-cared over in this corner to the right near this generator. I think we can follow the blood orbs to where he was healing. Yeah, he was healing right here somewhere. Where are you? Damn, he just made distance. Damn, okay. Shit. <laughs> With how strong a start I had to this game, it doesn't matter. I don't, since I don't have any gender aggression perks, I really have to be playing optimally here to win this game. Somebody ran over here. It's a mag, okay. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you. She didn't know where I was either, which is what made her run into me there. And thanks to Modern and Abuse, she actually didn't. Uh, she actually was kind of hesitant on where I was in general, simply because my terror radius is a little different to what she's used to. I think I'm going to use the rest of this to head on back towards the down person. I could pressure this bill, but no, I don't think it's worth it. I want to get a hook here so I can try and get somebody dead. Is the mech dead on hook? If she is, that's really good for me. She's calling me the pallet, very smart. Unbreakable, very well done on her part. Remember she has dead heart. So she's gonna greet his pallet as much as possible. Alright, she's gonna try and dead hurt to the pallet in here. We already know where the pallet is, so we can just go ahead and respect it. There we go. And gets down on her. Easy like that. It was a good use of Unbreakable, but unfortunately for her, I turned around. Uh, had a really good time for me. She's not dead yet. That generator off in the distance is 100% done. I'm not even gonna uh, bother with it. This generator is gonna have more progress than I wanted to, isn't it? Yep. Bill's gonna be hiding right around here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all this blood. This is all really nice for me to have for the future. I don't know where this person that I was hiding is, honestly. And I really don't want to have to look for them, but I kinda have to right now. Because as much as I've been in a good position this entire game, all it takes is people sitting on generators to lose the game immediately, just like that. I'm gonna try to pick up blood over here so I can down this guy with one shot. I'm not gonna be able to do that, am I? No idea where I am. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my power here and go straight for the unhook. They're gonna unhook in a couple seconds here. They're gonna be around this side, right? Yep. Damn it. 
I saw the med kid sticking out. We have to down arm him there, they're gonna get down hope last second. Ooh, they're not awesome. Alright, I'll go around this side. He's gonna be expecting me to go around the other side, I'm pretty sure. I'm actually gonna come back to this generator and force a bill off it. Yeah, you can't you can't sprint burst uh <laughs> Oni Dash. This is why I always say by the way, don't don't try and bait hits with sprint burst. It is not worth it. At all. You're just gonna end up getting yourself hit in a position that you don't need to. They're healing, which is awesome. I'm gonna get one of them injured for or one of them down for sure since they're both injured. And these guys don't really seem super confident in their loops. So I mean, you guys have seen how quick these chases have gone so far, and it's crazy that they still can just pump out generators so fast. Oh okay, yeah. He's gonna go and hook with Bill. I'm actually gonna force this guy. That guy's gonna self-care in that corner, meaning he's not gonna be doing a generator, so I'd rather chase this guy who could potentially be going for the bill. Thank you there. I'm not even gonna bother picking him up. I don't think he has unbreakable. They uh, these Dwight's don't play like they have unbreakable. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the bill instead or the Dwight instead. If he doesn't have barred time, I'm gonna go ahead and try and down this bill. There we go. I knew exactly where he would run. Which let me get that down through his primpers. Oh nice. Based on how he's been playing, I really expected him to just camp a pallet. Now this is a really rough loop for me, and Bill probably has a breakable decisive strike, so I'm gonna end up losing a lot of pressure right now, unfortunately. This is a loop I just kinda have to take as the Oni, honestly. There's... Oh, awesome. There's very few mind game you can do at that loop, which just kinda sucks, but, you know, not much you can really do about it. He's gonna come pick up his buddy over here. I'm gonna end up trading downs. It's gonna be fine for me though, cause I mean, uh, this guy crawled into a corner instead of fully recovering, so it took a little bit for the, the, his teammate to pick him up. This is why you always recover first and crawl later, in my opinion. There's very few scenarios where I would suggest crawling for your cover. Uh, I suggest crawling for your cover if it's towards a pallet. Hold on, where the fuck did he go? Stop crawling. It's just annoying. Um, but yeah, so if you're near a pallet and you want to try and crawl to it, so maybe a teammate of yours can get a pallet save, I think that's worth it, but only if you have a teammate nearby. Crawling obviously is nice whenever you're the la- I mean, obviously the scenario, this guy was crawling in right there, was fine, I was just- I just don't like when people crawl because that shit's annoying. But, um, yeah, by all means, like, if you're the last person left alive, go ahead and crawl, there's no point in recovering, right? <laughs> But at the end of the day, like, the thing is, people, people love crawling to hide as much as they can. But you're just gonna end up leaving yourself in a position where the killer isn't gonna know where you are and just gonna get slugged until your death, and then that's no fun for anyone, including the killer, so... You know, I, do as you will, but at the end of the day, uh, recovering is just so much more useful in that scenario. So if we learned anything from this game, stop crawling and start recovering instead, and don't hold your damn sprint burst to the last possible second for literally no reason at all. <laughs> this bill, yeah, he baited one hit from me, but that was only because I decided to play it really risky when I didn't need to. And it just ended up backfiring really hard for him, as you guys saw there. Damn, yeah, this Meg had unbreakable dead hard. It's nice and barred. This bill had the least amount of points, which is crazy. The mech died maybe like three, four minutes before him. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna check the runtime on these two games, and maybe we'll do a third one. Anyway, yeah, I guess you guys will know here from the from the rest of the video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.